Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Stretching and Wellness. So let's just start by warming up a little bit. So it is a little bit warm, I mean, warm this morning, but we'll still get our muscles warmed up. So just stepping from side to side, swinging the arms, deep breath in and out. You can bring the arms above the head if you want. Deep breath in and out. Good. Awesome. You can do a little marching in place if you want. Again, as always, if you want to do a little jog in place, if you really want to, then you can. But you can totally just stick with the marching. Good. Still early. Um, good. Trying to get those knees though up as high as you can, swinging those arms if it feels okay. Just trying to wake those legs up, get them a little warm before we stretch them out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And as always, we'll do a few small exercises before we get started just to make sure we're all warmed up. So we're gonna start with our feet together. We're gonna to do a side lunge. So feel free to hold on to something. You're gonna step out to the side and go down and back. So try to make sure your knee is in line with your toe and that your knee is not going over your toe. As always, you can step out super far and go down super low, or you can just step out to the side, step back in. Make sure the toe is facing forward. All right, let's just do eight on each side. Stepping out, check on that knee, step back in. Again, as always, you can do whatever you want with your arms. You can hold on to the wall or a chair in front of you or anything stable. Good. Make sure that toe is facing forward. Knee is not going over your toe. Good. Good, keep breathing. Just activating those leg muscles. Might feel a little bit in the glutes. Good, five. Good. Now I don't know what I'm doing with my arms. I'm holding an imaginary chair right here in front of me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Two more. Check on that knee. Good. And eight. All right. Give those legs a little shake. We'll move on to the other side. Feet together. Step to the side. Now I'm doing something else with my arms. Check on that knee. Good. Three. Might feel it a little bit in that inner thigh of the, this leg. Good. Five. Six. Good. Check on that knee. Seven. And one more. Awesome. All right, let's give those legs a little shake. Do some arms. So let's start with our arms in 90 degree. And we're going to start with pulsing. Then if it feels okay on your shoulders, overhead. And then we're gonna come together in the front and pulse again. All right, so again, I say about 20 each, but it's an estimate. So let's start with our pulses in 90 degree. Relax the neck, good. So we'll do about 20. You know, we'll estimate it here. You know, you can either do them pretty quickly or faster, you decide the speed, just make sure you're only moving your arms, trying to relax that neck so you're not tightening it up. Good, we'll go overhead in three, two, one. Good, again, you can go as slow or fast as you'd like, but if you're going fast, make sure your form is still good. Good, keep breathing. Good, awesome. Good, make sure you're breathing throughout all of these exercises. Good, we'll do a few more. And back to 90, meeting in the middle. Again, especially with this one, at least for me, and I wanna to try to literally move my whole body. I'm trying to just move those arms. It's okay if they can't touch in the middle. Try to still keep those shoulders back when you get to that end point here, good. Good, keep breathing. This arms, I'm sure you feel it in those arms, as do I. 
All right, we'll go back to the pulse. Good, we'll do again about 20. Good, keep breathing. Good, we'll do a few more. Three, two, one. All right, let those arms swing. We'll roll those shoulders back. Good. And before we go into our stretching, let's just do a quick 20 calf raises. So again, feel free to hold on, get that string attached to your head and come up on your toes. We'll do 20, not too fast, fairly slow. See how it feels, four. Good, just make sure you're going up. Doesn't matter how high you get up on your toes. Just make sure you're not using your hips to swing you forward and trying not to lock those knees. Good, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good, 14, 15, 16, good, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, give those legs a little shake. All right, let's do a few more shoulder rolls back, really opening up that chest. Deep breath in and out, good. All right, let's bring that arm behind our back, grabbing onto that elbow, stretching out the back of your arm here. Again, as always, trying not to let your head hang forward. <sighs> Keep breathing. As always, I like to do a little other movement with my hips just to do, you know, a little bit of a two and one, but you can totally just stay still. Good. Keep breathing. Try not to lock those knees in if you are moving. Good. Keep breathing here. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, gently let go, lay your arms down, shoulder roll back to reset. We'll move on to the other side, grabbing onto that elbow, make sure that head isn't hanging forward. Deep breath in and out. Good. Just trying to relax here. You can close your eyes if it doesn't make you fall over or dizzy. You can close your eyes if you would like. Sometimes I just like focusing on something in front of me. Even though we're not technically balancing, but we're just trying to relax here and focus and stretch. Good. We'll do three, two, one. Move those arms down. Shoulder roll back to reset. Arm across your body. Again, sway back and forth if you'd like. Good, let those arms swing, other side. Good, keep breathing. All right, let those arms hang down, reaching up towards the ceiling. Trying to reach your fingers up as high as you can, moving the fingers around a little bit. Good. Trying not to let those shoulders scrunch up towards your neck, even though you're reaching up high, trying to keep those shoulder blades down. Slowly come down to the side. All right, we'll do a little neck stretch. So bending your head to one side, you feel that stretch on the side of your neck. And as always, Optional placing, not pulling your head, just to add a little bit more of a stretch. Again, just placing, not pulling your neck. Totally optional. Trying to feel it in that side part of our neck. Sometimes that can get a little bit stiff. And as always, do this only if it feels comfortable. If it's hurting or straining your neck, please skip it. But still breathe, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Good. Okay, keep breathing. 
or <coughs> arm down, move the head over to the other side, optional hand on the head. Good. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, let that arm down, shoulders roll back to reset. Then we'll do a big, slow head roll all the way around if it feels okay. Nice and slow. Our necks are very, very delicate, so we don't want to yank them around. Good. Keep it back to the beginning, circling in the other direction. Keep breathing. Good. Pull those shoulders back again, grabbing your hands in the back if you can, or just opening up your chest and pulling your shoulders back. And look slightly up towards the ceiling if it feels okay. Deep breath in and out, deep breath in, and out. All right, let that all go. We're gonna stretch the calves quickly, not quickly, but before we go on the ground. So as always, feel free to go to a wall if you have one available and put your foot up against it to stretch out the calf, or you can just put your heel on the ground and reach for your toe. Whichever way feels more comfortable. So we'll pick one side to start with. If you're at the wall, you can lean in, trying not to round your back. If you want more of a stretch, just keep your back flat and hinge forward at the hips to get a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Again, even besides the 20 calf raises we did, the calves are usually fairly tight just from walking around or even just from not walking around, they can get tight either way. So it's good to stretch them out, but again, it shouldn't be painful. You feel the stretch, but it shouldn't hurt. All right, a few more seconds here and then we'll switch sides. All right, let's switch to the other side. Find that spot where you can feel that stretch, but it's not hurting. Good, deep breath in and out. Good. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna gently go to the floor, take your time as always, I will meet you now. All right, we're down here on the ground. Again, just still take your time. Just to get situated, you can come onto your back. All right, get comfortable here. You can open your arms out to the side if it feels okay. And we're just gonna lay here first with our knees bent or straight, whatever feels more comfortable. Pressing our lower back into the floor. And we're gonna inhale, come out of the pelvic tilt, lift your lower back up and exhale, press it into the floor. Good, you can do a few rounds of those if you'd like, or you can just lay here, just trying to keep your back flat the whole time, closing your eyes, but just make sure you're breathing. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. All right, we're gonna grab those knees in towards our chest. As always, you can reach underneath if it feels more comfortable. We're just gonna do a little rocking from side to side. 
good. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. All right, we're gonna release one of those legs. See if this is in the way today. Nope. All right, straightening that leg out if you can and pulling the other knee in towards your chest. Again, if this feels like too much of a stretch, you can keep the other leg bent a little bit, whatever feels more comfortable. Good. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. Now that you're on the ground, if you want to, you can feel free to close your eyes and just picture yourself somewhere peaceful, which immediately to me feels like the beach, but you might despise the beach. So anywhere that you love, just relaxing, focusing on your breathing. We're going to bring that knee out to the side to target that inner thigh stretch a little bit, but just make sure you're still laying flat on your back. So that means you can only bring your leg out a centimeter, totally fine. We just don't want to be rolling onto our side. Good. Breathing. Good. One more breath in and out back to center, gently switching out those legs, bringing the other knee in towards the chest. Good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, trying to keep that lower back flat on the ground as much as you can. A little bit harder with this leg straightened out. And then we're going to gently bring that leg out to the side to stretch out that inner thigh. Again, trying to keep your back on the ground as best you can. Good. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. Gently bring that knee back in. We'll straighten both of our legs. Bring both arms over the top of our head if it feels okay. Just stretching out our whole body. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. One more big deep breath in and out. All right, reaching, grabbing those knees in towards the chest one more time, side to side. All right, and while we're here, I, I want us to do the piriformis or pretzel stretch. So again, it's always two options here, crossing that leg over and just staying here, gently pushing the knee away from you, or you can grab that opposite leg and pull it in towards your chest for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Whichever way you do, feel free to kind of circle the ankle if it feels comfortable. Depending on which way you're doing it, you might have to circle a, a different ankle if you're doing the one where you bring your leg up. You can circle the one straight out front like I am, but if you're like this, you're going to circle the leg that's crossed over. So whichever way, and again, only if it feels comfortable, nice gentle circles. And then we'll halfway through, we'll switch directions. We'll circle the other way. Okay, circling the other way now. Good. Keep breathing. And nice gentle circles on the ankle. Good, a few more seconds here. Keep breathing. All right, slowly let that like come down and uncross. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Cross and optionally grab that leg in towards your chest as much as you can. Again, one might be a little bit tighter than the other. Circling that ankle. Good.
Good, keep breathing, circling the other direction with the ankle if you're circling. Good. Good, keep breathing, five more seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, gently let that leg fall down, uncross. A few deep breaths here, just on your back, and then we're coming going to come to a seated position for a few minutes. We're going to have our legs either straight out in front of us or opened up. So we're going to slowly make our way to a seated position. We're either going to have our legs right out in front or you can open them up a little bit, whatever feels more comfortable. We usually have them right in front of us, but you can choose whichever one feels more comfortable. We're going to reach for those toes. Again, trying not to round your back or neck, trying to keep that lower back flat and just hinging like folding in half from your hips down. Again, you might not be able to touch the toes here. That's okay. Good, you can come out of this, cross one leg over the other and we're gonna twist in that direction. Again, nice and gentle. Twist just sounds super aggressive to me, but we're gonna just turn to the left you can look over your left shoulder, whichever direction you started with. Again, if this hurts at all in your back in any place, please skip it. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Two more seconds here. Good, all right, slowly untwist, uncross that leg. We'll bring the other leg over, turn in the opposite direction. Feel free to look over the shoulder. Keep breathing. Good, keep breathing here a few more seconds. All right, uncross that leg. We'll reach for those toes one more time again, trying not to round your back. Keep breathing. Okay, we'll hold a few more seconds here. Now today I cannot reach my toes. <laughs> Too tight today. All right. So now gently make your way to standing. Again, take your time. You don't want to tighten a muscle getting up from the ground. All right, I will meet you up there. All right. So if you're not at the top yet, no worries. Just take your time. We'll wait a few seconds here. If you are here, you can start rolling those shoulders back a little bit. And we're gonna bring those legs apart. A little bend in the knee, letting our whole body fall forward. Grabbing on to the elbows if it feels okay. Going from side to side. Good, keep breathing. Good, trying not to have any pressure on your neck. We're gonna slowly roll up to the top. Good, roll the shoulders back. One more time. And big deep breath in. And out, opening up your chest. Deep breath in. And out, let's do three more. Big deep breath in. And 
out. Deep breath in. And out, good, one more, big deep breath in. And out, one more shoulder roll back for good measure, and we're done. 